huge part of our GDP that basically build things. Think about factory workers, construction workers, rail workers, truck drivers, and the people that fix things. Ford is hitting the accelerator in a new engine revolution. Imagine getting electric-like response, strong power, and real fuel savings without giving up gasoline or waiting for a charger. That is the best Ford is making, built in the United States by American workers. This technology is designed for drivers who are curious about the future, but still trust what they know. Today, we will unpack how Ford's new power-dense engines work, why they matter, and how they might change what you expect from the car in your driveway every single day in real-world driving and ownership experience. A different kind of acceleration. While many car makers talk only about going all electric, Ford is taking a more balanced path. They know millions of drivers are interested in electric vehicles, but are not ready to give up familiar engines, long range, and quick refueling. So instead of choosing one side, Ford is trying to make combustion engines smarter, lighter, and much more efficient, and then blend them with smart electrification. They call this focus power density, and it changes how we think about engine size and strength. For decades, more power usually meant a bigger, heavier engine. A six-cylinder engine felt stronger than a four-cylinder, and that was the end of the story. Ford's new approach breaks that old rule. Their latest three-cylinder turbo engines can deliver power once reserved for larger six-cylinder units, yet they take up less space under the hood and weigh much less. That matters for real people. A lighter engine can help the car steer more sharply, stop more confidently, and use less fuel on every trip. This is not a theoretical lab project or a show car trick. These engines are going into mainstream vehicles that normal families drive every day. Ford's goal is simple, but bold. Keep the parts of driving people love, improve the parts they dislike, and prepare for an electric future without forcing everyone to switch overnight. It is a transition you can feel from the first time you press the accelerator and notice how quickly the car responds. Drivers who tow, carry families, or commute long distances still get the strength they need. But now, with smarter engineering under the hood, it is a quiet revolution that starts in the factory, but shows up every time you drive. Power dense engineering inside the block. The heart of Ford's new power dense idea sits in the engine block itself. Traditional engines have thick, heavy walls and conservative designs because they must survive heat, pressure, and vibration for many years. Ford's engineers asked a hard question. What if modern materials and smarter casting methods could cut weight without hurting strength or durability? Their answer is an aluminum alloy block created with high pressure die casting. This process lets them form thinner, more precise walls that still stay rigid under stress. The result is an engine that is roughly 15% lighter than similar units from just five years ago. Saving that kind of weight from the nose of the car pays off in many ways. The car feels more agile in corners. It rides more smoothly over bumps. Fuel economy improves because the engine has less mass to move every minute it runs. But the most impressive changes are hidden deep inside each cylinder. Ford uses a nano ceramic coating on the cylinder walls, applied with a high energy plasma spray. This creates an ultra smooth surface that lets the pistons slide with far less resistance than in a normal iron liner. You might hear that friction is reduced by only around 8%, and think it sounds small. Yet, over thousands of miles, that small gain becomes real fuel savings and less wear. Less heat is wasted. Oil stays cleaner. Parts stay smoother for longer. It is the difference between an engine that just meets the standard and one that quietly exceeds it for years. For drivers, this engineering work shows as simple benefits. The car feels eager, yet relaxed, even when fully loaded with people and luggage. You do not need to think about aluminum alloys or coatings to notice that everything just feels easier. Turbo power without the waiting. Turbocharging is not a new idea, but Ford's latest system feels very different from the turbos many drivers know. In older turbo cars, you pressed the pedal and waited for a brief moment while the turbo spooled up. That pause, called turbo lag, made the car feel inconsistent and sometimes frustrating in city driving. Ford fights this with an electrically assisted turbocharger. A small electric motor spins the compressor right away, even at low engine speed, 
so boost arrives almost instantly. You get a strong pull from idle, with no awkward delay. This clever blend of electric help and turbo power gives you a driving feel that reminds many people of an electric car. The response is smooth and immediate, yet the car still runs on gasoline. Airflow does not stop at the turbo, of course. It passes into a redesigned intake manifold that improves volumetric efficiency by nearly 12%. In simple terms, the engine can now breathe more deeply and more evenly at different speeds. The manifold uses internal shapes that change with engine load and speed, guiding air where it needs to go. More air alone is not enough. Ford also refined how fuel enters the cylinders. Their newest direct injection system can fire fuel into the chamber several times during a single stroke, often three or even four tiny pulses. The injectors operate at more than 350 bars pressure, turning fuel into a fine mist. This allows cleaner, more complete burning, leaner running when cruising, and strong power when you demand it with your right foot. On a tight on-ramp or a quick pass, this fine control means the engine does not stumble or gasp. It simply breathes, burns, and goes. The result is a car that feels more refined than its small displacement might suggest electrified combustion in everyday driving. Ford is not building these engines as standalone machines. They are designed from the first sketch to work with mild hybrid systems. The core idea is simple. Use a compact battery and a 48 volt electrical system to capture energy that would otherwise be wasted, and then give that energy back when the driver needs help. During braking and coasting, an integrated starter generator works as a small generator, feeding electricity into the system. When you pull away from a stop or ask for extra push, it switches roles and helps spin the engine and the drivetrain. One of the most interesting pieces is the thermoelectric generator in the exhaust. A normal car dumps huge amounts of heat out of the tailpipe. Ford's system places a special module in the exhaust stream that turns a small part of that heat into electrical power. It is not enough to drive the car by itself, but it can run accessories and lighten the load on the alternator. Every watt made this way is one that the engine does not need to produce by burning fuel. That means a little more efficiency with no extra effort from the driver. The 48 volt network also powers smoother stop-start operation. At a red light, the engine shuts off. The moment you lift your foot from the brake, it restarts almost silently. In slow traffic or parking lots, the electric motor can even move the car at very low speeds with the engine off. You get a taste of electric quiet and smoothness without owning a full electric vehicle. For someone living in a busy city, that smooth stop-start and low-speed electric creep can change the whole character of daily driving. It turns slow traffic from a harsh, jerky crawl into something calmer, quieter, and far less stressful. Real-world power, noise, and comfort. All this technology would mean little if the cars did not feel good to drive. That is where Ford's real-world tuning comes in. Take the 1.5-litre three-cylinder engine as an example. On paper, it makes about 180 horsepower and 210 pound-feet of torque. A decade ago, you would have needed a much larger 2.5-litre engine to see those numbers in a family crossover. Yet today, a compact three-cylinder can move an escape-size vehicle from 0 to 60 miles an hour in under 8 seconds, while still returning highway economy in the mid-40s. Behind the wheel, the power delivery feels calm and confident. There is no sudden surge, just a smooth, steady pull as you press the pedal. Ford carefully matched throttle response, transmission shifts, and turbo behavior so the car feels natural in city traffic and on open roads. The goal was for drivers to stop thinking about small engine, big car, and simply notice that the vehicle does what they ask. Three-cylinder engines have a reputation for roughness because their basic layout creates an uneven firing pattern. Ford tackles that with balance shafts, precise engine mounts, and active mounts that use the 48-volt system to send out counter vibrations. These cancel much of the natural thrum before it reaches the cabin. The result is a quiet interior that often sounds smoother than many older four-cylinder engines. On a long trip, lower noise and vibration mean less fatigue for the driver and passengers, even while the engine works hard in the background. 
Ford's new power-dense engines prove that the combustion engine is not finished yet. Instead, it is being reshaped to work alongside electrification, not fight it. Lighter blocks, smoother internals, smarter turbocharging, and mild hybrid support all add up to real gains you can feel at the wheel and see at the pump. As charging networks grow and full electric vehicles spread, this technology acts as a strong bridge to that future. For now, it lets drivers enjoy modern performance and efficiency without leaving behind the engines they know and trust. Tell me in the comments what you think below.